We're out of Springfield, lawmakers have agreed on a budget deal. WGN's Courtney Spinelli live in the newsroom with the latest on the spending breakdown. Courtney. Micah and Ray, Governor J.B. Pritzker and Democrats in charge of the House and Senate announced late this afternoon that an agreement has been reached on the fiscal year 2024 budget. They say this marks the fifth balanced budget since Pritzker took office in 2019. This budget makes historic investments that will benefit our state for years to come. A major update coming out of Springfield just days after lawmakers failed to pass a budget by their self-imposed May 19th deadline. On Wednesday, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker announcing a budget deal similar to his proposal put forth in February. Centering on Illinois' hardworking families at every turn. Some of the key focal points of the budget, focusing on investments in early childhood and higher education, $250 million is dedicated to early childhood education, including a program to expand access to preschool statewide. Another $350 million set aside for K-12 education, and $45 million will be spent on filling teacher vacancies. An estimated $200 million is slated for higher education, half of that for MAP grants. This budget means that we're on a path to eliminating child care deserts, relieving some of the burden on parents who need to work while ensuring kids get quality care. Workforce development and resources for health and human services, including funding to fight violence and poverty, other key takeaways of the fiscal year 2024 budget. A future where every Illinoisan has a safe place to call home and a safe community to live in. A future where economic security means the opportunity for anyone and everyone to prosper. In the budget, plans to dedicate $20 million toward a new Illinois grocery initiative to expand food access to underserved rural towns and urban neighborhoods. House Speaker Emmanuel Chris Welch saying the budget is balanced without gimmicks. This budget is fiscally responsible and it's actually compassionate too. We actually can walk and chew gum at the same time. Senate President Don Harmon saying he hopes his chamber can send the bill to the House tonight so they can act by Friday. After that, it's in Pritzker's hands. I'm confident and we have every intention of passing it today. Now, we haven't yet heard from Republicans in Springfield, though none of their votes are needed to get this passed. Governor J.B. Pritzker says he will be glad to sign this once it hits his desk. Reporting live in the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. Thank you, Courtney.